What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're doing a, a short video on how to cut crown molding like a pro. Um, I've had multiple friends in the finished carpentry trade and they've taught me some tips and tricks. So today I'm going to share them with you as I do a bathroom project, redoing a little bit of crown molding and uh, kind of updating it. So I'm going to share them with you today. So stay tuned. guys, first things first, with doing crown molding and doing it correctly, you need to have good solid measurements. So I'm going to take you inside to the bathroom, real world. We're going to go in and measure exactly how I do it um, so we can have nice, precise fitting when we're done. So let's head on inside. All right, guys, now we're in the bathroom here. Now what I want to do is measure from inside corner to inside corner. Um, basically, this gives us a crown molding that comes together um, with an inside corner. So what we want to do is have a very accurate measurement here so that our crown fits very tight um, up in the corner. So a good way to do this so that you're not trying to push the tape measure into the corner um, and, and figure out exactly you know what it is and you're kind of uh, you're kind of guesstimating what you want to do is you want to pick a, a, a spot in the wall uh, where you can count an even number and then you'll measure from the other side to that mark so I'll show you exactly how I do that here so I'm put my tape up here um, I want to mark at uh, let's see I'm right close to 50 inches so what I'm gonna do is turn my pin around and I'm gonna make a little mark at 50 inches. So I always usually use a uh, fine tip pen or a, a mechanical pencil. Some people use the, the carpenter's pencils or whatever, but I think they make too big of a mark. So uh, now that I've made my mark at 50 inches, now we're gonna come across from the other side of the wall and we're gonna measure out to our, our 50 inches. So the measurement is 21 and 5 eighths. So you add 50 plus 21 and 5 eighths, makes it 71 and 5 eighths. So now I'm gonna go back out to the miter saw. We're gonna show you exactly how to cut that 71 and 5 eighths. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily make an inside cut. So I'm not gonna measure out my 71 and 5 eighths right now, but I will teach you how to make an inside cut here. So I've put tape on both sides of my fence. Um, I have went ahead and marked my crown. What you wanna do is you always wanna put the top here on the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the platform. Okay, so the table is top. T T table top. Okay, you want to always have the top of your crown molding. If you're putting it up against the wall like this, you want to always have the top upside down. So turn your crown upside down. Even that rhymes, man. I'm doing uh, uh, batting a thousand today. Okay, make sure that's tight with your fence, and you go ahead and put that line there for reference so you can hold it there every time. So if you're doing an inside cut, an inside uh, corner, you always wanna make sure the bottom of your crown is longest. So that will go to the corner and it will come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and cut it for an inside corner. So what we wanna do is we wanna make this now our longest, our longest side. So we're gonna slide down here and we are gonna turn my saw to 45 degrees. We are gonna hold our crown at the, at the uh, up against the fence correctly, upside down. Now, you wanna go nice and, nice and slow with a sharp blade. It will uh, leave less nicks. It will make a very, very crisp cut. Here we go. Okay, now we've cut one side. Now what we wanna do is we wanna come back the other direction. So here, this is getting a little too little for a little too small but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna hold my crown here and we'll make another cut. All right, now we're gonna take this in half and I'll show you exactly how it fits together. Okay, so now we have an inside corner. So basically what this is, is when it goes up in your ceiling, you have an inside corner that fits together. So, always remember the top of the crown goes down, you cut at a 45 degree angle, and literally you're just working with either the long, the long side is the bottom or the long side is the top, depending on if you have an outside corner or an inside corner. But just always remember, 
table top right there and then make sure your crown is upside down same thing um, and then you're cutting for inside or outside corner and uh, just go nice and slow with it uh, if you're worried about it, I always try to be real precise with my markings. Um, use a fine tip pen or a uh, uh, mechanical pencil, and you'll be just fine. Make accurate cuts. Measure once or measure twice, cut once, and uh, it's as simple as that. All right, guys, I hope you got a little bit out of that video. Uh, easy way to cut crown. Um, just make sure you're, you're placing it right on the miter saw. Uh, you're making real fine cuts. Always be careful, always uh, you know, operate the saw as if it was your first time. Um, don't get complacent and get hurt. Um, it is a saw blade spinning close to your hand, so um, just, just beware, uh, just be careful out there, guys. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope to see you click subscribe. Uh, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And um, yeah, I think that's all I usually say. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any questions about my band-aid here uh it's from a different project it's not from the miter saw so just hold up on that all right